What would you do with just under 20 million rand? Well, the Matatiela municipality decided to build a sports facility. But you guessed it. It doesn't look like it's worth the price. In fact, it's shocking for that price tag. And there's no water, no toilets, and no grass on the field. So is there even any reasonable justification for this? Well, let's find out. We can speak to Lizo Matiwane, municipal manager for the Matatiela local municipality. Thanks so much for your time, sir. Appreciate it. So we have a reporter there today looking at this facility. 18.9 million spent so far on one looks like it's very incomplete. Uh, good, e uh, good evening, uh, Shayan, and good evening to your viewers. Uh, indeed, your <clears throat> uh, reporter has been here in uh, our sport field. We can comment that indeed a lot of work has been done, and as a municipality, we are satisfied uh, thus far. And to be correct, as uh, we have already spent 22.5 million uh, on the work that has been done there. Yo, 22.5 million. We're looking at the visuals now. It doesn't look like it's worth the money to me. Well, if you, if you were an engineer, you would understand a lot of work in terms of the earthworks uh, that has to go in there. But uh, if you want me to read uh, the list of the work that has gone uh, into that uh, place, uh, you Please can do, uh, I'm not an give me that chance. And I'm trying to understand why there's uh, rocks laying around there that there's no grass, okay. but we do see some sort of tar. So I'm struggling to understand yes. why you spent over 20 million on that. Yes, the, 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 the tar that you're seeing, we're going to put an artificial turf, which we're still waiting, uh, which has been ordered uh, from abroad. Uh, but a lot of work, as I indicated, because we, we, it was a lot of earthworks. We started with the site, site establishment, bulk excavation, disposal of spoil material, embankment filling to plat le platform level, construction of selected layers of platform, uh, construction of stormwater drainage system, construction of manholes, a uh, subsoil drainage system for both football pitch and running track, construction of clear view fencing and gate for the site, construction of G5 sub base layer for football and running track, installation of cabbing around the football pitch and running track, construction of G2 base layer for football and running track, a concrete V-train, a priming and laying of 30 millimeters thick asphalt along uh, the running track, which is at 70% done as we speak. The only thing that is uh, outstanding now is the artificial turf. As I indicated, yeah. it was ordered. It was supposed to have arrived in July, but due to COVID and also the unrest that the country witnessed, uh, we are still uh, expecting to uh, is accept, expected to arrive latest in November. And, and what uh, about our toilets, uh, plumbing, uh, floodlights, power? Is all of that sorted? That one is part of the second phase of the project. It's not part and parcel of the, our first phase. Uh, remember, the project is divided into two phases, so we are talking about phase one uh, for now. So phase two will be inclusive of change rooms with ablution facilities, combo court, a grandstand, yeah. guard house, and flat lights. That and will be our are you second spend on phase that? of the project. Well, that will depend uh, where what will be the, the prices during that time because we'll have to go on tender again for the second phase of the still of the of the of the of the spot field yeah and and what about that tender process because you know we could possibly get an engineer out there to see if it's overpriced because you know in the Enoch Mgejima municipality mm -hmm. that independent engineer said the 15 million rand stadium which seems to have more than what you currently have was overpriced what was your tender process like no, everything was done overboard, say, uh, Shahan. Uh, for instance, the engineers were appointed at 4.1 million. The contractor uh, was appointed at 20 million, uh, which was the lowest bidder in terms of the bidders that submitted their, their documents uh, during the time when the contractor was appointed. The community is saying that they were supposed to be involved in these uh, building process in negotiations, but they weren't. We spoke to a community leader today. 
Why was that not happening? Each and every uh, project, uh, Shahan, has got uh, what we call a PSC project a steering committee. Obviously, communities as are represented in the project steering committee. But they were telling us today that they were not no. spoken to. No, that is not true. Uh, if they were, they are part and parcel of the project steering committee, there is a person who is representing community in that uh, a, a project steering committee. All right. Lizo, are you absolutely sure that this would cost over 20 million rand? Because, you know, South Africans are now questioning this, especially ahead of election time. If we had to bring engineers there to independently look at it, are you absolutely sure that we're not going to have another conversation where I'm telling you that independent engineers are saying it's overpriced? Definitely, sir, because we are working with engineers also here. Obviously, the engineers uh, which we are working with them, we do trust them of the work that has been uh, done there. We have All appointed right. engineers who are working with engineers also. I'm going to bring, I'm going to ask our team to bring up those visuals again. Let's bring those visuals up. Okay. Tell me again, what did you spend so much, uh, uh, how much so far? What was it? 22. Lizo, what did you pay so far? 22 million? 22.5, Shahan. There you go. All right. I'll let our viewers decide, right? Because we're showing them visuals of uh, this so-called sports facility of yours. You spent 22.5 million rand on it. It does not have toilets, plumbing, floodlights, power. What do you think, South Africa? 22.5 million for this? Lizo, thank you for your time. I hope to speak to you possibly next week, once we get more answers about whether this is worth the price you have paid. Lizo Matiwane, Municipal Manager for the Matatiel Local Municipality.